A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit Panuja of QualityLessons.net and welcome to part 2. Now in part 1 I would explain things only superficially. In part 2 we are going to lose some code and we are going to use some code and whatever code I am going to lose like I am going to lose now I am going to recreate for you. Okay, have a look at the list as I destroy the code. All right. So you can see now I have a plain vanilla list. Okay. Next, guys. To all li items, see li has been declared out here. Li equals all li items. jQuery li. Chicken equals all li items containing string chicken. Mutton equals all li items containing string mutton. And variable paneer equals all li items containing string paneer. So all uh, all allies list style or list style type. It's the same. This is the shorthand, and I want it to be none. That's gonna remove the the dots or the you know the the circles, or the balls. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna say all allies at class. Initially, I'm going to add class veg and vegan to all of them. You'll soon see why. But to chicken items, C H I C K E N dot add class uh, non veg and remove class veg vegan obviously it's neither veg nor vegan chicken is neither veg nor vegan same thing applies to mutton all allies containing string mutton so just do a copy and a paste and mutton all mutton items we add the class non veg remove the class veg vegan makes sense and all the paneer items we don't need this we just need this much and remove the class vegan still vegetarian okay so I've added the appropriate classes which I'm gonna define out here see the moment you apply veg vegan or non veg classes automatically colon before colon after classes also you know pseudo classes also get applied this is something that you should know because what is before and after nothing but a place where you can actually add some content so let's define these classes content property property add a full stop so see the moment I do that it inserts a full stop before tamarind rice, sambar rice, pav bhaji, mushroom masala all veg items see that and all vegan items I, I'm gonna say content colon vegan this way and save it similarly I'm gonna copy this from here and I'm gonna paste it out here make sense now let's save it again I'm gonna make the font size because we can't see the dots or the period of the full stop 72 px okay see they have actually grown in size you see that I'm still wondering why this okay con tent now see the content vegan has actually appeared you see that in fact this is how I want it yep this is fine now it's appeared out here you can see this in brackets 
Okay, so I want to reduce the line height from 100% to a 10%. So line height, the default is 100%, so just 10%. Mm. See, shrunken and color green. So we have a green dot before the vegetarian items. Make sense? Turn green, these dots are still very small. We'll uh, fix it. Just take the spit and paste it out here. Change the color green to a color red. See mutton biryani, chicken biryani carry the red dot. Turmeric rice also carries the green dot and the word vegan in parents. Parents, uh, summer rice, vegan, chicken biryani, red dot, pav bhaji, vegan and a green dot, mushroom masala, vegan, paneer moghlai, vegan. Now, you should not be, should we be removing the green dot? Uh, no, this should be remove the glass, vegan. Yep. Yep, now that's fixed it. Yep, save it. And that's it. See, this is the final product. Just adding and removing the appropriate, uh, you know, appropriate class at the right time. And using uh, colon before, colon after, pseudo classes. And we have what we always wanted to get. Okay, so guys, I hope you found this information useful. You have a very good day. Bye-bye. Peace.